Hey guys, welcome back to Tear to the Kingdom. Before I leave Goron City, there are a couple of quests that you could do. One of them is with the Elder. He says Lizard Lakes. I remember something about that other Zelda. When we were mining marbled rock rose on the north side of Death Mountain, she said something kind of funny. She told me not to go near the Lizard Lakes, but she didn't say why. Bit surprised to hear the words lizard lakes coming out of your craw. Don't much don't much hear about them lakes these days. I still recall an old nursery rhyme about them. One brother hunts what the other brother hides. Two lizards fighting over what's inside. Not ever not everyone knows this, but the lizard lakes are also called the lizard brothers. I searched high and low for them back in my younger years. Always thought treasure must be there somewhere. Then on my hunt, Death Mountain blew its top. It was covered in lava before you could say BOOM! Boy, I'd forgotten all about my search for the lakes. That's it. Talking about this has me all worked up. It's been a real long time, but I'm ready to start the hunt again. Best place to start looking is halfway up Death Mountain. My hunch way back... My hunch way back when led me to the north side. There's a Unobo code dig site there too, so we can hop in a minecart and get cracking. Got my aching back. The hidden treasure at Lizard Lakes. Okay, so the thing is about this quest. Let's go ahead and see like what it says. Ludo told you about it. Uh, I mean, he basically says the same thing over and over again. It just shows you the placement in Grand City. Um, the interesting thing about this particular particular quest is that if you own the amiibos and you already have this Vavrudania divine helm you don't need to do this quest because it gives you the exact same item so i'm not going to be doing this quest because what was the point of me getting the helm again and there's a garage again i'm sorry <laughs> anyways yeah there's no point in me doing this quest because I already have the helm from the amiibo. But for those of you that don't have the amiibo, this is for you to get on your own time. Basically, you just have to go to... There's some place. <laughs> and nearby these lakes, these lizard lakes. There's supposed to be a cave nearby that you have to enter, go inside and get the treasure. That's yeah. it. Another quest? Um, well, uh, I can't show it right now because I don't have the materials. I don't have the item, but you can get the champion's weapon from Breath of the Wild. Obviously, not by stealing. You have to give the person the materials and then you gotta get it. Hey, bub, keep your hands off of that. It's a custom made product called the Boulder Breaker, a historic weapon that is venerate amongst his gorons see i mentioned this before they they talk about these weapons but they don't talk about the champions that once wielded them that was like their signature weapon wasn't it i don't know that's just me master rohan please let me try making the boulder breaker again you got some gal kid after you up and left the workshop in the middle of training for some marbled rogue rose what's it i'm done with you i've got no excuses but I still need to put the finishing touches on that boulder breaker first. Let me prove myself, please. If it's still no good. Then you can be done with me. Well, you've got your enthusiasm. And that's what counts for some. But without materials, how do you intend to do this? You'll need a cobble crusher, which I do not have. Five pieces of flint, I do have. And three diamonds to complete it. I don't know if I have three diamonds. That's the reason why there's a shop here that gives you three diamonds. But to spend 3,000? On three diamonds? Oh dearly. <laughs> uh, I... I'll just... Uh... Do something. Sorry, I, I thought I heard something. <laughs> it kind of freaked me out, but... Okay, I'm back. Sorry. There's some people over at uh, our house, and they're making a lot of noise. So I was wondering what that was. It sounded like banging. 
That's all I was like, what is going on? Uh, okay, anyways, there's another quest, I think. Yeah, like these dudes. I think this one's the most important one. Or is it? Actually, no. I don't really think that's that important. I thought it might have been one of the shrine quests, but I don't think so. Is it? I don't remember. The marbled rock rose just up and vanished. Sometimes the strangest things happen. The city's bustling again, and leaving the work at the inn to that younger Goron means we've got time on our hands now. Maybe we should take a vacation, eh? Ooh, let's go somewhere we can really see the moon. I'm thinking about the place we were born, Dre. Remember how the full moon shone on the ground there? How could I forget? It was quite a sight. Going back there is a great idea. But what with the wall- What? <laughs> but what with the lava flows, the area has gotten confusing to navigate. I don't remember where it is. I'll follow you on this one, Vulcan. Uh-oh. I was counting on you to remember how to get there, buddy. Full moon? Eavesdropping, were ya? Gorons are born on the land, you see. Vulcan and I were born from the same place, so you could say we're rock brothers. We were born in a cave. But the full moon shone so brightly, lighting up the darkness of the cave. It was a mystical thing to see. I remember thinking it was weird that it was the middle of the day and not night. I was just a baby, but I still remember it. The only other thing I recall is that it was somewhere at Lake Verona in Elden Canyon. But that's it. My memory is all fuzzy, Vulcan. Can you remember anything else? Dot dot dot. It's no use. Nothing is bringing it to mind. Maybe if I could see a picture or something that shows that full moon shining on the ground. Maybe I'll just stare at a map until I remember. Or something. This one. Uh, we can do this one now. So, I don't know if there's any more quests here. Maybe there are, but I can't be bothered to do <laughs> Search for them. But, uh, you know what? There might be a couple of Koroks here too. That I'm missing. And there's a garage again, as per usual. Will we ever escape this garage? Uh, I highly doubt it. But you know what? Let's go ahead and do this one. Because you said it's at Lake Verona. Wherever it may be. Oh my goodness, it's the shape of a meat. I didn't even know that. I realized that. Okay, so it's actually somewhere over here. I think like right here. At least they give you a pinpoint of where to go. The other one is not really. I mean, the lizard lakes somewhere around there. But I won't be showing all of that. I mean, maybe. I don't know if I decide to. But for stuff like this. I think it'd be better for you guys to experience it for yourself. But if you don't feel like playing this game, then I understand. But, I mean... <laughs> I highly recommend you play it for yourself. This away. Ah, oh, shoot. I mean, maybe I can get the... The duplicate... Divine Helm and just sell it. Alright. <laughs> and it automatically shows you this. Okay, I have to explain this right now. Unobo's vow has granted you the power to summon his avatar. Okay. Uh, the reason why he looks like that is because we're wearing the helm. So if we take it off, he takes it off too. So, it's the same thing with Tullin. If you have these helms, each sage will wear it at the same time as you do. So if you wear Vameto's helm, he wears it too. But that's not exactly ours. It's the actual sage, the very first sage mask. And that's freaking awesome. I love that. That was like a neat little touch. So, it's not exactly ours. It's their respective sage's mask. And ours is the one from Breath of the Wild, obviously, you know, Varut. All the Va divine beasts. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and just take it off. 
put back our proper armor that we've been using this whole time. Can you come here, please? There you go. Goodbye. And thank you for your goods. Okay. It should be around here. The cave. I don't see any bloopy. It's okay. Like Verona cave. I'm pretty sure we missed the time. Oh, there's this I didn't even notice this last time. Wow, look at me not paying attention. <laughs> Anyways, we actually need to make it midday, I believe. Because this is one of those quests where you have to do it at a certain time of the day. Give me your goods. <laughs> there it is again. Staring into your soul. Yeah, I really need to get to Kakariga Village. That Shika armor, I'm telling you, it's really convenient to have. Get some goodies over here. I mean, we're gonna fast forward time anyways, so. Give me your goodies. Okay, so what happens is that that rock right there in the middle of the lake or pond, I, don't, I, I can't, <laughs> can't be bothered with the proper terms for these bodies of water but the supposed light will show on the stone as a full moon and wait is it night time or in the middle of the day i'm pretty sure it's in the middle of the day isn't it or maybe not oh wait let's just check this I just thought it was be it would be midday because like you just need the light. It's not like you need the light of the moon. The light of the sun could have been fine too. Oh, but okay, that's that's nice. We conveniently came at the appropriate time. This is what they're referring to. I hope. That doesn't it usually show like a like an exclamation mark? Or no? Is does it really have to be midday light? Yeah, see it says during daylight. They might recall if they had a picture of the full moon shining on the ground during daylight. Okay, you know yeah, you see? That's you're supposed to wait until Actual day. If only I could just use that picture and say, Oh yeah, yeah, that, that's the light from daytime. Yeah, see, here we go. Yeah, there you go. There's the exclamation <laughs> point. Good thing I didn't leave. Here. We got it. Now we can give it to them. I don't remember what you get. I don't really think it's anything that big. But we'll see. But after this, we will proceed to do what I have been trying to do this whole time. The travel medallion. 
it would be convenient to have that. Let's just go ahead and finish up this quest. Because it's easy. Here I thought Valken and I could finally take a vacation and go moon gazing. But we can't very well get there if neither of us knows where it is. If I could just see a picture or something that shows the way to the f the way the full moon shines on the ground there. Pretty sure I'll be able to remember it then. Take a look at this, man. What? Yes, that's the place. Hey, yeah, that's the spot. That's just how the cave lit up when we were baby Gorons. That did the trick. I remember how to get there. It was on the west side of Lake Verona. Thank you, young Hylian. I can remember it so clearly now. It was really chapping my hide not being able to remember. I feel relieved to recall it. I'm sure it wasn't easy to find. Take this as thanks from us. Oh, okay, it's just rupees. <laughs> That's okay. I'll gladly take rupees. Time to buckle down and prepare for the journey ahead. Sure thing. I just need another decade. And then I'll be ready. What the frick? That's the tray I know, quick as always. Uh, uh, okay. I surely won't be ready for at least another 15 years myself. What the heck? <laughs> I don't remember them saying that. Goes to show how much I don't pay attention in this game. Anyways. Let's go ahead and get the travel medallion, shall we? It's it's over here. At the, I call it Ancient Tech Lab. But. I mean, I guess we could just. What is a star for? It shows the treasure chest icon, which means I finished it, right? Imagine I didn't. <laughs> Pretty sure I finished it. Um. Should I go from here or the tower? You know what? We're just gonna go from the tower. There is a stable over there. Convenient to have that if you wanted to speed up going over there. You could take your horse. But since the tower is here, you know. <laughs> Actually, you know what? This area also has... Right here. This is where the the horse fairy is. The, no, the horse god. The, this is where the horse god is located. We could go ahead and show that. Should I glide over there or no? <laughs> I mean, whatever. Let's just explore. Well, you know what? Use a different shield. Use this one. Yeah, you can you can even see the stable from here. Yes, I know. Are you serious right now? Uh, where? No, I didn't mean to talk to you again. Oh, there's a sled right here. <laughs> oh, so that's how you're supposed to do it. Uh, no, 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 no. That's why you have the fan. And then... The dude. Oof. I 
I just don't want it to fall off, like without me going on it. Okay, here we go. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and get the friend first, though. Um, I haven't even been getting any battery materials. <laughs> it's just, it tells you to get a hundred, but... I don't know, I just can't be bothered. And then there's a shrine over there. Man, your friend is far. Ugh! Will I be able to get up, get back up there, even though it's uphill? Oh yeah, kinda. Okay. I want to go back to the shrine, that's why. I don't want to leave that behind. I might just cut to when, I, to when I get there, because it's pretty slow. So, happy cutty! Happy cutty! Happy cutting! Oh, I ran out of battery. Okay, you know what? Screw this mess. We're gonna manually just walk over there. Here we be. Actually, I, I think I could have just warped over there. Oh my goodness, <laughs> you dummy. Uh, combat training? Sneak strike. How did they teach these things in Breath of the Wild? Because in my opinion, these shrines are kind of annoying. If this is your first time playing this game, then okay, it's understandable. But just the fact that it's the same thing in Breath of the Wild. And they gotta teach you this again? I don't like it. Oh. And thus, concentration mode <laughs> activated. Well done.
There we go. Nothing to it. I will say though, I mentioned this before. Wait, my rock? They're they're break? I was about to say, I was like, <laughs> I didn't know that could happen. Uh, when you're crouching, this is crouching when you're pressing all the way forward on the joystick. You need to only slightly tilt it forward because if you if you're fast like this, they they will they will hear you, which is I hate that. What's the point of a sneak? If <laughs> you have to go so freaking slow like this, but you, this is unacceptable. Why? I hate you. Sneaky elixir. Thank you. Since we're getting the travel medallion, I will might as well show Terrytown and work on our house. So that's what we will be doing in this episode. We would try to start on our house. It would be nice to have that. And I want to show you guys what you can do. It's really nice. I really like the house quest in this game. That's one of the positive things in my opinion. I mean, there are a couple of flaws <laughs> to it, but it's a major upgrade to Breath of the Wild house. So no complaint, not, not too much complaints, maybe a little bit complaints, but it's okay. Oh, whoa, dearie me. Who are you fighting? Oh, I thought you were fighting someone. <laughs> I was like, uh oh. Anyways, you see stable over there, which will be nice. Easy warp point here. I mean, for what reason would you want to go back here? I mean, I guess for the horse god. Okay, okay, that makes sense. This warp point is just for the sake of going back to the horse god. And the horse god has a couple of upgrades. It's not just reviving your horse, like in Breath of the Wild. You can upgrade your horse. But of course, I'm pretty sure we can't change Epona, so it's like for the regular horses. I'm so fucking sick of that garage. I don't know what to do. Uh, garage is so annoying. Oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, let's just uh... Oh wow, look at you. You wanna be the stronger? Uh, the very strongest. Like, no, I never was. I had to think about it. <laughs> uh the garage it's you have no idea how much it's annoying me i hope it's not too bothersome for you guys i'm really sorry i can't stop saying i'm sorry i bet i'm an, i'm even annoying <laughs> just saying i'm sorry about it Courage to... Oh, this one. Okay. <laughs> How about them Tetris skills? <laughs> okay, how did I do this before? Let's just see what we're dealing with right now. How do I get the chest? Can I 
recall it? Can I recall it? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> I wanted to cheese it. camera that's why I swear to god like sometimes okay fine we'll do it the intended way so this is the this is one of those moments where I believe motion controls is actually helpful because if you want to just slightly move the camera motion controls can help with that Hang on. What is this? Oh. Oh, but you just have to be slightly off. How dare you. I could have ascended, damn it. <laughs> okay, that's how you're supposed to get over there. I thought maybe I could cheese it. Okay, let's get the treasure chest because I right, hang on. No, get over there. Oh my Wait, what happened to the treasure chest? Did you, did you make it fall? Okay. Shit. You also made that? Okay, be right back. Okay, guys, here I am again. Um, this is gonna be so weird for me to <laughs> edit, but I actually am back. From like weeks from when I last left off so this I don't remember what I did all I remember is that I was doing this shrine and then I got the ball in here so I can open the the final um, you know segment to get out of here but I didn't get the chest but here it is <laughs> we can just simply get it now So yeah, back again with like the weird timing. How I got too lazy to record. But yep. Here we are again. Although, uh, you know, it's kind of good to be back. This, this is a fun game. So I don't really mind. I have no depth perception. Can I even like? Oh, I can. Yep, good job. <laughs> Zonite bow. Go ahead and 
replace the other zone I bow. Anyways, yep. So there's that. Um, I think I was on my way doing the travel medallion. I'm assuming because I we did not do that yet. We were on our way, right? Dude, this is what happens when you take too long to do a let's play. You forget everything that you did. Yeah, we were on our way there. Okay, well, here's to continuing on as if nothing happened, even though so many weeks went by. I think... I don't even ha know how many weeks it's been. <laughs> Maybe like more than two. I'm pretty sure it's more. it's been more than two weeks since I last been here. So... The power of editing. Uh, okay, we're, we're just gonna go on. I don't know if I took my horse or not, but uh, forget you guys. I'm just gonna go. I'll kill everyone too. Have at me. Ah. Excuse me. I've heard that the Yiga clan had a branch in this area. If that's true, then it's important I give it a wide berth. Do you know of the Yiga clan or this Nefarious branch of theirs? I'm familiar. Ah. What luck to have run across such a kind and knowledgeable soul. Luckier still, I now have a souvenir to bring home. Just stay right there and... Ah. I'll take your head. I'd like to see you try. What am I wielding right now? Wait, hang on. I don't even... <laughs> See? This is what happens when you... Just go completely haywire with the let's play. Okay. Hi uh, there. Ah dang you and your shield. Whoa! Uh, okay. You broke it, right? Okay, good. You broke it. <laughs> Wow, how are you not hitting me? No, no, no. Do the flurry rush, man. There we go. This is gonna take a while. That's not good. That's not good. Don't. Oh, there's three of you. Whoa. Whoa, Tullin. Nice. I got you. Right, let me grab this. Ooh. Have at me again. There we go. Your goods. Uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and use um, a stronger weapon. Oh, there you go, nice. Anyways, <laughs> let's just hurry up and go. I've been prolonging it way too much. Although, what I don't really remember what I needed to do. It's there's a chance that you need to 
do something even before you show because this is like one of the Yiga hideouts so they're not gonna just let you in. Final warning! Yiga clan only be on this point. All others will be harshly dealt with. I don't give a frick about any of you guys. Maybe I do have to like enter from above. I don't know. Let me see this. Can I, Can I just see? Actually, can I even enter? Can you get in? <laughs> I'm tripping right now. No, can you get the stuff out of the way? Oh my! <laughs> no, can you like, get the stuff out of the way? Because uh, they're in my way. I actually don't know if this is what you're supposed to do. <laughs> uh, it kind of looks like it. I see stairs. Got to get wrecked! <laughs> Link? Thought you could sneak past us, did you? Come out front and let's settle this. Alright, <laughs> fine, whatever, I don't, I don't care. Okay, you're done. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't think I ever flurry rush you. I'm not even paying attention to him. I'm just gonna. <laughs> I can't flurry rush with just all of them ganging up on him. Don't die, please. Can I have your sword? I want it. Thank you. Are you giving me a blood moon right now? No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Forget your blood moon right now. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'll make your little uniforms without any more complaints, I swear. Hold up. Hey. Hey, Superstar. You're not with the Yiga clan, are you? Please tell me you're here to rescue me. Yeah, I'm here to rescue you. Now give me your chest piece. That's... that's fantastic! Uh, I've been cooped up in here forever. The name's Kanba. I've got a knack for style and the nimble digits I need to... And the nimble digits I need to spin my ideas into reality. Alas, the pure talent is why the Yiga clan kidnapped me and forced me to make their outfits for them. If I ever sue one of those tacky rags again, or so sue. <laughs> if I ever sew one of those tacky rags again, it'll be too soon. In fact, you should take the Yiga armor I just finished. Burn it. Toss it. Do it. Do what you want. Just get it away from me. And we got the Yiga armor. Dude, have, have we gotten the other ones? I don't even recall what I've done. The look may lag, but my tailoring is sublime. If you wore the whole set, you'd fit right in with the Yiga clan. On that note, I gotta hurry out of here before they get back. Don't worry, I'm more athletic than I look. They only caught me last time because I messed up. It won't happen again. <laughs> See you around, and thanks for the save. I ain't no problem, thank you, thank you for the clothing. So have we gotten like the other one? I uh blood okay fine hurry up hurry up No just just skip it <laughs> Have we Oh we do have the pants okay Yep we're just missing the headpiece wherever that may be uh, we do have like a map of where to get it. Uh, 
Are you telling me it's in the Colosseum? I guess so. So we're right here, right? Uh, you can see like the symbol here. We got the one here, I believe. Because I distinctly remember going into that specific cave. So I guess we're missing this one. And the one here, I think, is just their hideout. So once you get all three pieces of armor, you would have to go there. What's in here? Oh, I think this- yes, 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 yes. The reason why you're here, man. The travel medallion prototype. This is exactly why we're here. Uh, imagine I forgot this chest. <laughs> okay. Okay, now that we've got this, we can go ahead and go back to Robbie. So, uh, happy cutting. Because there's- Oh, just kidding. No, no happy cutting right now. We're gonna go ahead and show the horse god, which is right here. Red light. Follow the red light. Follow the red light. Um, wherever. Yeah, you can. Yeah, here we go. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I don't know if they require like a specific request even before I open up the bud, but let's see. Someone, give it to me. Even one will do. Someone, please, feed me an endure carrot. Here you go. Ah, what a kind soul. <laughs> okay, there you go, yeah. Good thing there's no other musician that I need to give this person. Or this horse god. Oh, ho, ho. it was you, wasn't it? You're the one who gave me that endure carrot. For so long, my stomach has been tor torturously empty. Thanks to you, I at last had the energy to emerge from my bud. You have my thanks. My name is Malanya. Malanya, right? I'm reading that right, right? <laughs> I'm not very good at reading. I am the god who watches over the horses of this world. Grateful as I am that you fed me my first meal in so long. You would call that a meal? That's just a snack. It's kind of sad. My appetite still is not satisfied. What shall I do? Shall I eat you? <laughs> I jest. You do not look appetizing. Rude. Eat me. <laughs> Take me out of my misery. Another endure carrot ought to do. In exchange, I can grant your wishes. Those related to horses, at least. You grant wishes? Yes, I can revive loyal steeds that have died or enhance horses' abilities. So this is a new thing that I mentioned before. The horse god... Actually, were they able to do this in Breath of the Wild? I can't recall. I thought they were only able to just revive your horse. I don't recall them being able to upgrade your horse at all. If we bring them a specific meal... Like, it's not just any endure carrot or like a specific, um, like vegetable. It's like a full on cooked meal. Like, with the fried greens or whatever. <laughs> yep, see here. I want some of those. What are they called again? Oh, feet! Give me the meal for my horse enhancing ab abilities. Why are you looking at me like that? This is not about me wanting to eat tasty meals. <laughs> right. Me as a god. The god of horses cannot revive on an empty stomach. Generation after generation has repeated that saying. Really? It means that if you want me to enhance or revive a virtuous steed, you must give me food. Seems legit. Can we even... Uh, like, what is it? Any of that? Can I upgrade it? Yeah, it doesn't want its abilities to be enhanced. I'm assuming is is the the giant steed like that too? Yeah. Okay. So the only one that we can enhance is shade because it's just the normal uh, horse. Oh, we have one. So she tells you exactly what meals 
in order to enhance the ability. So for strength, we got fried wild greens. I guess we could do for that since it's only one star. Shade only has one star strength. Oh dearie. Speed, we got glazed veggies or, and steamed tomatoes. Three of them, three each. Stamina, vegetable risotto, carrot stew, cream of vegetable soup. Cool. Copious fried wild greens, veggie parish. We're gonna go ahead and just do the strength since we're here. Mm. Yep. Mm. How delicious it looks. For that, I will be happy to enhance your horse's strength. Ready? Set. Mm. Noise. I enhance its strength. Your horse's constitution will now be more robust, its body more resilient. It seems pleased with its new abilities. Okay then. What do we- Oh, okay, you require copious fried wild greens. I don't know how to make that. <laughs> or sp well, I mean, obviously vegetables, but I don't know how exactly. Okay, well there's the horse god, there you go. So that's how you get here. Anyways, now that we have the travel medallion prototype here, we can go ahead and go back to Robbie so that he can. Um, I, what's the word for it? Fix it. <laughs> Fix it up for us. But yep. This is exactly why we're here, and good thing I did not forget to get it, because that would have been just disastrous. Anyways, um, after the travel medallion, I wanted to go ahead and go to Terrytown because it'd be nice to get our house up and running. Although you know, it's not that important if you don't feel like doing it. But I just wanted to show it because obviously. It's good to show everything that you can do. Um, although I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna show every single thing you can do in this game. Just the important parts, obviously. Anyways, just go ahead and give it to him. Hey, you! We have more work to do. The prayer pad is nowhere near its full capa uh, capability yet. So, which feature do you want to add? Travel medallion, the final one. Of course, you want the travel medallion feature. Who wouldn't want to travel instantly to wherever you want? I will need my- Yeah, I got it. I got it. Here you go. <laughs> huh? Wait, do I detect the unmistakable odor of my old home on you? How on earth? Oh. What? Then you already have it? <laughs> Good job. That will do the trick. Come on, hurry up. Let me see your parapet. Alright, here you go. Oh. Now give me just a moment. And just like that, we're able to use it. Da, 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 da. I added that to your key item, so you'll never lose the ability to use it. If you want to be able to tra travel instantly to your favorite spot, just stand there and set up a travel gate by using that. Then, at any time, you can just zip right there by selecting that very spot on your map. Easy, right? Hella. I wonder what I could do if I had even more data. However, I suspect I could add two more gates. Yes, then it hit maximum capacity. So I can create a link between the pad and a second location, but for that I need about 10 map data locations. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this. I, did, I just thought you automatically gave it to me. Wait. What did that say? Oh, oh, I don't remember that. <laughs> You've got the data? Oh, good thing we got the data. Is that just for the second one? Do I need to do a third time? Like 15 locations or something? Or like another 10 locations? Oh, <laughs> it is 15. Jeez. Uh, do, do I, do I have, 
What do you mean by lo map data locations? Are you talking about like shrines or something? Or the towers? Uh -huh. Or put together? Uh -huh. Oh, shoot. Are you telling me that I need, like, the entire map? Because he said the Skyview Tower. Oh, I guess I do need the other two? Uh... <laughs> hmm. Okay, well, eventually we'll show- Actually, I don't even know if I'm gonna show that. I mean, it's the same thing. Just get the other map towers. And then just go back to Robbie and get the third. Um, travel medallion. So yeah, I said before, right? You don't just have one travel medallion. You're able to get three. So that, that's very nice. Before I had um, one in Terrytown, but I, I guess that's not entirely necessary because there's a shrine nearby, and it's the shrine that's supposed to be next to your house. So I will show you the specific like. Wait, where did I just warp to? <laughs> Why did you warp there? You're tripping. Do I not? Oh, right here. You stupid. <laughs> but yeah, you have a shrine nearby and you can easily just glide to Terrytown. You don't necessarily have to put the travel medallion there. But if you're just lazy, you don't feel like going to the shrine specifically. And then gliding there, you could just set it up there if you wanted. But yeah. You see like this, um... This dude over here? That's just like... Hi, I'm... I'm the person to set up dream homes and whatnot. This right here is a space for your home. It's for you. No one else. No one else is gonna buy it. Ah. Hey! Hi! Hello! Are you ready for all your habitation dreams to come true? You're in luck. We're building dream homes! This plot will soon be a first-rate home with sweeping views of Akala. A dream home of this caliber comes with a hefty price tag, but I assure you every rupee is well worth it. Mm. It is a pretty hefty amount of rupees, but you know, that's the same thing with your house in the previous game, so... There you go. To learn more about it, we actually have to talk to... Um, what's her name again? The wife of Hudson? Rons Ronson or something? I forgot. But yeah, you have to talk to her. Actually, she doesn't even automatically give it to you. You have to do a bit of quest concerning their daughter. They have a daughter now! And we get to see her. So that is the exact quest that we will be doing. I guess why I have been here before. Did I even show us going to Terrytown? Because I already have the Korok. Uh, okay. Actually, how many do I have? Oh, just three! If only I had four. Anyways, let's go ahead and start it. That way can, we can just... We might not get the house in this episode, but we can at least just uh, get the quest going. I'm so worried. Oh. Ronson, yeah, that's her name. Just yesterday, she was talking about it happily. Perhaps you're overthinking it. So I do understand. I know you're worried about Madison moving. Mm. Monadi told me that Madison has been acting real cheerful lately. I can't help but wonder if she's, you know, she's putting on a bold face. After all, she's going to be picked up soon. <sighs> Please, if you keep acting like this, it will only make it more difficult for Madison to leave. This is a once-in-a-lifetime journey for a Gerudo. We should support her and give her a grand send-off. You're right. Of course, it's a special journey, and we should do something big for her. Huh? Ah, a customer? Welcome to Hudson Construction. Let me guess. You're in the market for a dream home, right? Heck yeah. That's no surprise. Our unique modular building style lets you put rooms together to create the perfect home. But I'm so sorry. We're still not ready to open for business. Mm -hmm. Wait, it's you. How did it take you that long to recognize me? <laughs> Ooh. 
Look who it is. It sure has been a while. You know, thanks to you, Terrytown is doing real good. Nowadays, it's the kind of village that welcomes folks from all over to come live in peace. Oh, and we have a daughter. Looks just like her papa. She's wonderful. Uh, actually, yeah, kind of. <laughs> You'll see, my little Madison. Hudson, you've got to get it, get it together. Sorry, I've got to go. We're kind of busy right now. I'm going back to work now, Ronson. Don't worry, I'll try to think of something nice to do for Madison. Madison's independence, so... You know what, I, I, I can at least let the story explain the situation. And we got, they have their own profile uh, in our compendium. Our prayer pad. The compendium is this one, yo. It's not exactly people, right? Let's go ahead and read it. This married couple runs the company that has been key to projects during the long reconstruction of Hyrule, including the creation of look, including the creation of Lookout Landing and the Skyview Towers. Ah, so they're the ones. That makes sense, right? Hudson has unparalleled skill as a builder, and together with the Gerudo Taylor Ronson, they helped found Terrytown. They also have a daughter named Madison. Cute. So who do I talk to specifically? Wait, hang on. Yes, we're doing this one. Uh... I guess we just have to talk to him. They'll talk to both of them. What am I gonna do? We were so deep in conversation, we hardly made time for you earlier. Sorry about that. You know, here at Hudson Construction, we like to say... It's son and done. And here I am, president of the company. I'm supposed to be strong and decisive. But when it comes to my own child, I feel so unsure about things. Child? I mentioned her earlier. We have a daughter named Madison. She's wonderful. All the best parts of me and my wife, Ronson. But Madison is... Well, soon she's going to leave and move to my wife's birthplace, Gerudo Town. The Gerudo have a law that says they can't associate with men until they come of age, you see. I mean, it's fine while they're very young, but when they start to become more aware of the world around them, someone comes from Gerudo Town to pick them up. I've been told that for Gerudo, spending time in Gerudo Town is an honor. And Madison does seem to be looking forward to it. Anyway, I want to give her a big send-off, but... I... I didn't realize this would be so hard for me. Ah, uh, sorry you had to listen to me go on and on like that. I really should get back to the job site soon. I want to spend more time with my little girl before she has to leave. But I have so much work to do. My wife has her hands full too. What with preparing Madison for the move, she's so busy she can't even take work requests. Mostly, I just wish someone could spend time with Madison so she wouldn't feel so lonely. No problem. I'm here. The Garuda region doesn't get rain, so she won't need any of her rain gear. It's hot during the day, of course, but the nights get cold. I should pack some warm things. Ah, oh. uh, sorry, I was distracted. I was just thinking about what I should give my daughter before her big move. She's been doing so much between making friends with the villagers here and studying in her room. I want to support her however I can. I'm sure she's already gone to bed by now, though. <laughs> when she's off on a journey, I think I'll start accepting dream home requests again. I'm sorry, but I hope you can wait until then. Not a problem. Uh... What? what uh, uh... <laughs> but... Is it because it's nighttime? Isn't it technically morning right now? Oh. That's the company storehouse. However, the door seems to be stuck and can't be opened from the outside. Maybe something is blocking it inside? Okay, how the frick did that happen? Oh, 
I can go in here. Oh, here she is. <laughs> here she is. So she has like Hudson's hair. But obviously she looks like her mom. Which I think is really cute. Good morning is Savotta. Good day is Sava. And goodbye is... What is goodbye? Huh? Don't frighten me like that. For a second, I thought you were here to take me away on my big journey. I'm doing all this studying because I'm moving to Mama's hometown soon. Where she's from, there's this amazing language called Gerudo. So the language is also just straight up called Gerudo. It's not like... I don't know. <laughs> Gerudo knees. I want to teach every son in the village to speak it too. So I made it my mission to memorize as many words as I can. God help me. <laughs> I'm getting tired. So I have to say goodnight now. So when I wake up, I'm going to give a lesson to Granny Monari. You should come with me if you're interested. At this... Okay, I'm not gonna speak like her anymore. That's too much for me. It's too much for my sanity. After some instructions from me, you'll be speaking Gerudo in no time. <laughs> for this lesson, I'm going to be giving a Gerudo quiz. You should try it. Well then, see you later. Uh, is it because it's nighttime right now? No, it's 4.40 a.m. I guess... I guess morning is 5 a.m., right? Do I have any weapons that... I guess this one. Uh, did I show this before? I actually have no idea. So there's this dude right here. He's the one that's able to separate the gems. I think I have shown this, right? I don't need to show it again. Well, but, but then, uh, since we're here, we can go ahead and go ahead and let him separate um, that weapon. Because I think I did pick it up just so I can get the gem. This one. Go ahead. Nice. Topaz acquired. Oh, okay. She's coming down here. The poor girl running in the rain. All right, here she is. It's lesson time. Hi. Granny Monari, Savotta. Uh. Oh my, you're in a good mood today, Madison. Is it time for another lesson? Oh. <laughs> of course, and it's a special occasion too because a new student is joining the class. Oh. Okay, now pay attention, Granny Monari. It's time for Madison's Gerudo quiz. What is the Gerudo word for granny? Aww. Granny in Gerudo is... Uh, what was it? Dude, I don't even know. Wait, I seriously don't remember. Baba? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> You're doing really good. Maybe you've done this before. I have, but I totally forgot. Ah, yes, Baba. It was on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> oh my god. Well, now there's one more Gerudo speaker around here. Thanks to Madison, I've grown rather knowledgeable about the language myself, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's how they talk in Mama's hometown, so if everyone can talk like that here, well... Then Mama won't be so lonesome, right? I feel better knowing Mama will be okay. But now I need to think of a way to help Papa. Hmm. I got it. Papa is always so busy, so I'll just make it my mission to help him with his work. Okay, 
I'm gonna go ride the rail car to the job site where he does all his work. Aww. Oh, Madison. She's had to grow up too quickly. At her age, she should be clinging to her mama and papa's legs, not working up a sweat trying to make sure they're happy. Then again, maybe she won't have to. Ever since Hagi was put in charge of the rail car, it's become a whole lot harder to catch a ride. Okay, so, um, you remember this dude? Oh, uh, no, no, you guys don't remember because obviously I didn't show it. So this guy is a scammer. <laughs> he, he, um, basically charges people to use this rail cart. Sorry for the pause. It's because of the garage. <laughs> the garage door. Again. Um, he will make people pay for this rail cart but madison obviously is a child why should she have to pay the dude i want to ride the rail car so i can get to papa's construction site and help him get his work done but i forgot that guy won't give me permission to ride unless i pay him this guy i never had to pay until he took over this dude, man. Who the hell hired him? Guess I'm gonna have to hop aboard the rail car without him noticing. But how am I gonna do that all by myself? What I need is what I need is for someone to maybe cover his eyes or something. Yep, so um what I did last time was literally just put this right in front of him. And it worked. Like this. But uh, you gotta hurry up and talk to her so that she can just go. You can go now. Hurry up and go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> okay, that, yeah. I was kind of worried that the angle of the board wasn't gonna um, make it successful. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> what is this? Whoa! Okay, anyways. We have to come down here ourselves too. Because we have to just... Basically follow her around. So that her quest can be completed. So... Here she is! Oh. Hey! You didn't mention you were coming here too, mister! It's strange. Papa keeps mumbling to himself. Hmm, hmm, hmm! Oh! oh. It's you. So, you know, I've been doing a lot of thinking. Trying to figure out what I could possibly do for Madison. Ooh. And, well, what I came up with is this. The weirdo town is pretty far from here. And there are plenty of monsters along the way. So I thought I'd make Madison her own special air balloon. But I want to make it really special. Something just for her. I'm just not sure how to do that. Special or not, I love the balloon you made, Papa. It looks like the sun. The sun. That's it. Let's color it yellow like the sun. I've seen sun lions around here. I could use them to make a dye. But I've get a beautiful... Uh, what? Bet I get a beautiful shade of yellow from them. But for me, to dye them something this size, I need 10 of them. I have no idea how many I have right now. But I'm assuming you can get some around here. Usually they're generous with these quests, these type of quests. Don't worry, I've seen a Sunday lion before. He was attached to the ruins that fell from the sky. The sky, huh? Uh, a 
Okay, how many do I have? Do I have 10? At least let me have 10. Oh, pfft. I have 36, man. Easy. I need to finish this up quick. It'd be awful if, Ma if Madison got sick from being out in all this rain. If okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here you go. Huh? That's awesome. You did it. You really and truly collected 10 of them. What's this? You found them all for us? Yeah, like from my adventures. It's not like I actually found some around here. Aw, that wasn't any help at all. I failed my mission. Don't worry. Your papa is about to turn this balloon into the sun, isn't he? I know. Why don't you help me with that? In the rain, though, it's gonna wash off. I will. I will, papa. I'll help you make the sun. Quick and quality, blink and we're done. That's why every one, every <laughs> you gotta, you have to ruin my little song. That's why everyone chooses Hudson Construction. Ooh. Oh, so you did it like that? I don't think I paid attention last time. I'm just happy I get to watch my little one sleep a little longer. How cute. Hudson. Oh, Ronson, what's wrong? No, don't tell me. Yes, her escort has arrived and is waiting at the village entrance. I see. All right. Let's all go together, then, in Madison's special sun balloon. Would you join us as well? It's okay, you guys can have your moment. I don't need to be in your balloon. <gasps> wow! I feel like I've turned into a bird! <laughs> oh, Madison. Don't make such a ruckus. You do not want... You do not want to fall from this height. Ooh. Hey everyone, take a look at that. <laughs> That's a nice view. The sun is waking up. Oh. It's blessing the start of your journey, Madison. Whether you're in Gerudo Town or Terry Town, never forget that we are all standing beneath the very same sun. The only distance that matters is the distance between our hearts. So you see, your mama will always be beside you. Oh. We'll be touching down soon. Hold on tight. Your present made me very happy. Hmm. Madison, you know, if you ever get lonely, you can come back any... <sighs> Sorry. Never mind. Papa needs to be strong just like you. My little Madison, it's time for you to go on your big adventure. Oh. Yes, it's time. You can trust me. I'll take care of your papa and mama. Don't worry, you can go. They'll become a wonderful vibe and come back with lots of stories to tell. I can't wait to hear about your adventures. I'll come visit you in Gerudo Town sometime. When I do, let's play again. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I mean, Saxo. I'm going to become a great vibe like mama. And I'll meet a wonderful Vo like papa. Savo, every son. Oh. 
Bronson. Did I manage to keep a smile on my face? Oh. Yes, you did great. She didn't cry, so it's good we didn't cry either. Now this is the start of a new life for us too. Mm -hmm. Let's pull ourselves together, if you're ready. Mm. Yes, you're right, of course. <laughs> okay, I am ready. Ah, oh. oh, sorry about that. You know, you really were a big help to me. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. Those underlines were pretty valuable, weren't they? Well, as a way of saying thank you, please take this. Oh, thank you. And this is from me. Wow! Wait, I don't remember this. Cool. You've already helped me so much. But if you ever visit Gerudo Town, please check in on Madison. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Have you forgotten that Vo aren't allowed in Gerudo Town? Mm -hmm. Alright. I, I guess it slipped my mind. <laughs> now I've got to get back to work. Don't you have a customer waiting for you, dear? And with that, Madison's independence quest is done. And that was quite a bit. I think with that, I will call that an episode. So... We are not quite done yet. We're still gonna hang around here for a while. Obviously, as I mentioned before, I wanna go ahead and continue on with the house quest our house quest. So, next time on Tears of the Kingdom, we're gonna be finally starting up our house. It's gonna be fun. Trust me. See you guys then!